It's your boy Lagan24 coming at you with some Call of Duty World War II Zombies. What's up, every body? What's going on, you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do the Easter egg. Got a nice little guide for you here. Quick, easy, right to the point. So let's jump into it right now. This is for the casual Easter egg. There is a more hardcore version of this Easter egg that I'll be doing a tutorial on next. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and drop a like, of course. Let's get started. So for the first step of this Easter egg, you just need to turn on the power. It's very simple. There is a gas type contraption right out here in this courtyard. You'll notice that it's got three red lights on it. And all you have to do is follow the hoses. There's three of them and they'll take you to three separate valves. You need to turn the valves until the light turn green. And eventually once you get all three valves turn, all three lights on this gas contraption will turn green as well. The next step is to now turn on the pilot light. That's located right next to the gas contraption in the middle of the town. You just hit the button and it'll explode. Out will come a bunch of fire zombies, so be careful for that. And then you can hop down in the hole. Once you're in the hole, you're sort of in the sewers there and you just need to go up the path and you will find the generator. You turn on that generator and congratulations, you have power turned on. All right, the next step is to go inside of the command center through these giant vault doors. You're gonna head in there and once you get inside, you're gonna notice this triangular shaped structure on the floor. There is a lever on it. Go ahead and turn that lever until it opens up. And once it's open, your next step is to go down into the salt mine. The salt mine door is located right next to this contraption you just opened. However, you can't get into it until you redirect the power to open that door. Now this is really simple. There are two doors in the same room. One is marked the lab. The other one is marked the morgue. Uh, they both cost 1500 points and you want to open them both because the step is going to be timed and you don't want to go up to one of the doors and not have the right amount of points. So head over to the lab and you're gonna follow this path that I'm on right now. You're gonna go up a flight of stairs and just around the corner, you're gonna see a power terminal and you're just gonna need to toggle the power over and then you're going to quickly need to go through the morgue door and you will almost instantly see this one and go up to it and go ahead and toggle the power over and boom, you have now redirected power to the salt mine and you can go down there. Now, once you're down at the salt mine, you're gonna notice this giant altar in the middle of the room. And if you go up and interact with it, uh, there's this contraption that's going to start functioning. And what you need to do now is kill a certain amount of zombies in a giant red circle. The circle's really big, so don't worry about it. Uh, but just be careful, kill a bunch of zombies there and their souls are going to go into uh, this contraption. Uh, once it's complete, the room will pretty much turn this really bright red color so you'll know it's done. And that contraption is going to start making its way up uh, where you opened that hole at earlier. Okay, now you need to head back to the command room. It's going to be really dark, a lot more spooky. Uh, you're going to go up to this console and you're going to press a button. That's going to send that little machine that was downstairs, uh, that's now upstairs, uh, on a little ride on a rail system. You need to follow it into the laboratory. You're gonna notice a big red circle on the ground and to power this thing to keep it moving down the rail system, you simply need to shoot zombies and feed it the energy that's coming off the zombies. It will eventually make its way to the end of the path and it will start crafting one part of the Tesla gun. Now, if at any point you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, you can simply step outside, try to thin down the number of zombies, bring them back in, and keep shooting them in the red circle, and the thing will eventually get to the end uh, where it's gonna craft that one part for you. When it's done, go ahead and pick up the part, and the little machine that's on the rail system is gonna start moving back to the center of the room again. This time, it's gonna go into the morgue. So you're gonna repeat the same process. You're gonna keep feeding it zombie souls. It's gonna move closer and closer to its objective where it's gonna craft the second Tesla part. And you need to pick it up. And then once you have both Tesla parts completed, you need to go back up to the console where you press the little red button and behind it is a weapons assembly table. However, it's being guarded by a flamethrower wielding zombie who's got a lot of health. I personally haven't found a weak spot on this guy, so just pump a lot of ammo into him and he will eventually die. Now his head's gonna fall off, so try to remember where you killed him at because you're gonna need that head later on. But now you can go ahead and craft the Tesla gun and just go ahead and pick it up and you'll now have a really cool wonder weapon to use while you play zombies. All right, for this next step, we're gonna head back down into the salt mines into the altar room. We're gonna go up to this thing right here and we're gonna press the button and your character is gonna say something about it needing a power source. Not a problem. Now we're gonna head back up to the command room right across from where you just picked up the Tesla gun 
is this fuse box. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this on the screen right now. You wanna, you wanna open up this panel right here and it's gonna show you, as the bottom left we're looking at right now, it's gonna show you four numbers, okay? One, two, three, four, and they're all gonna have a different color. Right next to it is a circuit breaker labeled number one. The objective is to go to circuit breaker one, two, three, and four in that order, and then turn them to the correct color that we just learned by reading that thing on the left. The map shows you up top where all of the circuit breakers are, but since you're watching this video, if you just follow my path, we'll be good here. So for example, this is circuit breaker number one. It's gonna need to be changed to red. Number two is gonna need to go to blue. Number three is gonna need to go to green. Number four is gonna be red, and this is timed, so you have to do it flawlessly, and you need to have make sure you have enough points to open up the gates along the way. And don't do like I just did. I started running away without even doing number one, which means number two won't even be open. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the first one to red, and then we're gonna run to number two. Uh, it's down below, you gotta go through the laboratory, and then we're gonna open a gate, and it's gonna be right here. And remember, that one's gonna turn to blue. The third one is just right outside the Pack-A-Punch room in a long tunnel. So there's another door. You're gonna have to have points, like I said. We're gonna open this door. We're gonna turn the third one to green. And now the fourth one's kind of across the map, and it's a little bit of a longer path. So I have stamina up. I, used, I like stamina up on this map. I think it's really helpful because there's just everything so fast on this map. So we're gonna run over to four. It's right behind where you buy double tap, and it's right next to this gate. We're gonna turn it to red, and voila, you're done with that step, and now we're ready for the next step. Okay, this next step, we have to power up these lightning rods, and I would recommend that you have a full slate of perks and pack-a-punch weapons. If you don't know how to pack-a-punch, tutorial is on the screen right now. Just click on that, go watch it, and come back to this step. Uh, Jack in the boxes, which are like the monkey bombs, almost are a must for this step. So you wanna go up to this thing, pull the lever, and it's gonna send up this device to the top of the tower. While it's going up, zombies are gonna be attracted to it and try to destroy it. There's a little health bar. Your job is a simple one. Just keep them off of that. Don't let them destroy it, right? So I kind of use these Mustang and Sally's or eggs and bacon, I think they're called. And that's pretty helpful. You can use your special ability if you have something that's really good. I use the knockback special ability that works awesome. And then there's also, of course, uh, nukes. If you have nukes, those are great. Anyways, just don't let them destroy it. And when it's done, boom, you're not done. Because guess what the next step is? There's two more on the left tower and the right tower. This is the same tower, but just on the, the columns on the outside of the tower. Two more levers, you've got to pull them both. So now you have to guard two at once. This is where I save my jack in the boxes for. I just throw them down one at a time, and that's gonna take up pretty much the whole entire th deal of it. And when it's done, what if you've successfully done it, you're gonna see just this gigantic lightning flash and you've completed this step. It's a kind of a tough one, so don't let it don't let it get to you. You'll get it eventually. Okay, now we're gonna head back down to the salt mine and go up to the right hand of God, press the button, and the next step you have to do after that involves a Zeppelin outside, so it gets kind of cool here. So you go outside and you're gonna notice this Zeppelin flying around. And every few seconds, uh, you will see these yellow lights appear on the bottom of it. Your goal is to simply shoot the yellow light until it's destroyed, okay? Once it's destroyed, the Zeppelin is gonna drop like this power transformer down. Uh, you have to find it, it's on the map somewhere, it's out in the village always, never gonna be anywhere else. So in the village, find it, and what you do when you find it is have to power it up by killing zombies next to it. So kill a bunch of zombies next to it, once it is powered up, it's gonna drop a battery. You now have to pick up the battery, and I would recommend you wait until there's about one zombie left, maybe two left. And you move pretty slow with this, but surprisingly, the zombies have a hard time hitting you. I thought they were just going to hit me the whole way, but they don't. So just pick up the battery, run back down. I have to stop myself right here. I'm kind of editing an edit right now. Uh, one, once What you're doing is you're taking this battery back down to the salt mines, to the altar room, and you're going to put it in the opposite hand that we've been messing with. It's the left hand of God. What I forgot to mention is that... Uh, when you put it, when you get to this room, a ton of zombies are just going to start spawning and you will get overwhelmed if you have the battery in your hand because you move slower with it, okay? So put the battery down, kill the zombies, and there's going to be like one zombie left. Then pick it up and put it in. That's it. Carry on lagging. And this time you're going to take this battery over to the left hand of God. So the, God, the, the hand opposite of the one we've been messing with. And you're going to put it inside of that hand. 
but of course it's not enough you're going to need to do that two more times that means going back outside shooting at the yellow light on the zeppelin waiting for the transformer to fall filling up the transformer with power grabbing the battery taking it back down to that same hand two more times okay on that last time that you're doing it uh when the transformer drops the zeppelin at least for me always picks it back up and sucks it to the sky so you're gonna actually have to shoot at the yellow lights twice it'll drop it again then you can fill it with souls then you take the battery back down to the hand okay so do you remember that flame throwing zombie that you killed you've probably killed two or three of them by now each time they die they drop their head so go pick up its head because you're ready to use it if you hit the right trigger button while holding the head it's going to emit a uv light that you're going to be able to see things you couldn't see before what you're looking for is four paintings around the map and if you hit the trackpad on the ps4 button uh, you should be able to see all four of them through the walls and everything so you, you're not gonna have any problem finding these four paintings you go up to a painting you point the head at it it shines the light and now you're gonna see uh, an eagle and a roman numeral number you need to write down the eagle and the roman numeral number or number so there's going to be like an eagle that's facing left there's going to be one that's facing right there's going to be one that has a crescent moon above them and there's going to be an eagle that's just facing you in the picture so write those down and put the roman numeral down next to it okay so if you have an eagle facing you and it's roman numeral two draw that eagle put a number two next to it okay now we're going to go down into the salt mine we're going to go up to the center console and surrounding the center console are four tubes these tubes have a picture of the eagles that you just found. And if you interact with this, it will then change it to a different Roman numeral number. So go up to one of the uh, tubes and then let's just say it's the eagle with the crescent moon above it. And you had the Roman numeral two, you would change the dial until it went to number two. And you're gonna do this for all four. Once all four are done, you can now hit the red button on the center. Uh, console thing and it's going to put this giant orb in the center of the room that's guarding uh, the handle of the sword there this is where your tesla gun comes in handy i hope you still have the tesla gun maybe i should have mentioned that earlier uh listen you shoot the red thing and you pick up the handle okay and now you're gonna get this cool cutscene, and i'll let you watch that Okay, so now it's boss fight time with this giant boss zombie made of zombie parts and a man, okay? And so what you need to do is just pretty much ignore him, run around the map, kill all the zombies that you can until there's one or two left, okay? Just leave the one or two. This is gonna make this next step easy for you. Maybe there's not a lot of zombies. I don't know when you started the boss fight. Okay, guess who's back? The Zeppelin's back. And stop me if you heard this before. You're gonna need to shoot one of the yellow lights until a generator falls from it and then you're gonna then a bunch of zombies will spawn in but that's okay because you need that to happen so just do a couple of laps around the, you're also confined to the village go ahead and start doing a couple of laps around gather up all those zombies behind you and go over to the generator and start filling up souls so the jack in the box is a good way uh, maybe your specialist will be a good way to do this but fill it up and once it's full of course another battery is going to drop now Go ahead and keep doing laps. Get rid of all the remaining zombies except for one because you're going to need to focus on the big guy here and you don't want a lot of zombies bothering you, okay? So the big guy, what you want to do is get him close to the battery and then for me, the way I do this is I use my knockback specialist and what it does is kind of stuns him and he just kind of just... I don't know, he's not too aggressive anymore and it stays like that for a good 30 seconds so I'm allowed to put some good shots into him and he'll become stunned. When that happens, it'll actually say on the screen that he's stunned you need to pick up the battery and go attach it to him 
When that happens, there's gonna be kind of like an explosion. He's gonna drop a max ammo. So if you're running low on ammo, no fear, you should have ammo now. Don't forget to pick up that max ammo. You need to repeat this process a total of three times. Shoot the Zeppelin, the generator drops, fill up the generator, uh, the battery drops, get him stunned, attach the battery to him, okay? For a total of three times. On the last time that you go to do this, when the generator fall, falls from the sky, once again, at least for me, the Zeppelin sucked it back up. So I had to shoot two red lights till they were destroyed. Uh, and then it dropped it and I did the steps. So once you attach it to him for the third time, you get the final cutscene, and you're also gonna be re rewarded with a really cool zombie helmet and you've done the casual Easter egg. So hopefully this guide was helpful. Uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with the uh, end cutscene here for this one. Like I said, there's a more advanced Easter egg where you uh, can do some other cool stuff and get a sword and get a different ending. Uh, so we'll be exploring that really soon. Drop a like on the video if it helped. I'm sorry it was a long one, but I'd rather be thorough. Uh, so hopefully you guys can do this. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24, and I will see you uh, next time. Bastard. He gave his life to help us end this madness.